for all verified facts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get the latest updates. My name is A.B. Rorig. I'm 20 years old and I have volunteered to be deliberately exposed to the coronavirus in a COVID-19 human challenge trial. This is a trial in which volunteers are deliberately exposed to a pathogen to quickly test vaccines and advance our scientific understanding of how diseases work. I had a surgery to donate my kidney. The risk of death there was something like one in 3,300. So the risks from a COVID-19 challenge trial are actually lower than that. But I see the benefits as even greater because these trials have the potential to save thousands of lives, not just one. My name is Gabrielle Kleinwax, and I am a mechanical engineering graduate student at the University of Colorado Boulder. Um, I'm Jewish, and it is not only a faith, it's, it's my culture, it's my community, it's the way that my parents raised me, the values that they raised me with. And in that tradition, in that philosophical tradition, the sages say that if somebody saves a single life, it's as if they've saved an entire world, that protecting human life is the most important thing that one can do with their own life, with their own time. Um, that's been part of my upbringing since I was very young, and I think it's, it's really ingrained in me um, and something that matters to me very deeply. I'm Chris. I'm 25, nearly 26, living here in Edinburgh. Um, so day by day, I'm a PhD student. Personally, one way that in terms of friends and family has affected me. So, so me and my girlfriend, we don't live together. Um, I, I live here in Edinburgh in Scotland and she lives up in the Highlands. Uh, so it's like a four hour drive apart. So we ha really haven't seen each other that much. I'm a PhD student. Um, I can be quite flexible. So um, that's one of the other reasons I feel like it's useful for me to volunteer myself because I'm relatively lucky I've got that job security and job flexibility as well that I can do it. And I don't have anybody financially depending on me or anything like that. So, you know, if you if you go to a Barnes Ward uh, in, a, in a Diwali night, you know, you would never f light a firecracker. So we all take calculated risks at various parts of our life, various uh, stages of our life, you know. We, uh, uh, from from our country, from our own society, people enroll in army, in the armed forces, knowing that, you know, you'd be in the front line of battle uh, if you are deployed uh, during a wartime. But what I believe is, you know, when you are working with, uh, the, under the supervision of, you know, the best uh, infectious disease people, the best immunologists and vaccinologists of the world, you know, and and uh, when it is said that it's not a disease model, it's an infection model, and you will be given the best available treatment as soon as um, you get infected, then uh, then you actually, you know, if you are truly motivated to do something, then you do something, you know, everybody is at risk in some way or the other.